Florian Kohler is trying to beat his own Guinness World Record. Here's the goal, make the ball jump over the obstacle and go into the middle hole. And this dude was practically juggling the balls. Seriously, it looks like a pinball machine on overdrive. Wow. So you've smashed the Guinness World Records title. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, I'm impressed. We finally have an answer to what does the fox say? But then again, ring ding 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 a ding has a better ring to it than all of this laughing. And please, not all wild foxes are this nice. Don't try to pet the wild one in your backyard. I said. <laughs> Having foxes in the backyard isn't nearly as interesting as waking up to about six deer in your front yard who have come for their breakfast. We hope you never have to see it in real life, but this man did. He was about two feet away from a lightning strike. The noise was so deafening that he dropped his umbrella out of fear. Still, this is nothing compared to this family car. Just give it a second. There. See that? It looked like God, Zeus and Thor all picked up a giant lightning bolt and threw it at this car. Luckily, the family inside is alive and well. It's Kohler again, and this time he is using a remote-controlled cue ball. What's that? What do you mean? It's a regular ball. No mortal on this planet can do that. You believe what you want, we'll believe what we want. Sheesh. Hey, would you mind sitting on the hood of my car while the tow truck gets here? This is probably what the owner said to the people walking by, trying to save his car. Some call it fast food. We call him the Burger King. Now that we're done with wordplay, let's see how this Indian street food chef makes around 132 burgers in about 85 seconds. We're exaggerating, but watching him truly felt like he was moving at lightning speed. You wouldn't believe us if we told you, but the supermodel is not the coolest thing you'll see in this video. You won't be able to take your eyes off the damn trick shots. Okay, seeing this from an apartment window is definitely not reassuring, but in Aussie land, everything goes. Seriously, are they getting ready for war? Or is ISIS sending a message? Oh, are you kidding me? Speaking of things we wouldn't want to see on our flight, this is a 747-400 performing an emergency fuel dump. We don't know about you, but we feel that when fuel has to gush out in a torrent like that, it's usually a bad sign. Okay, what's he doing with the... Oh, Lord. And he can even regulate it. We can't imagine how many bananas it took to perfect this skill. What would you say if we told you this guy managed to shoot eight shots in one second? Well, then what would you say if we told you that he did it with a handgun, not an automatic or a semi-automatic? We saw deer in the front yard, but we didn't know they wanted a party. A different lady from Colorado offered them to come in and even offered them a fruit salad. What did the authorities say? $550 for feeding wild animals. Apparently, it's illegal. $550.50. Don't mind the other cars on the driveway. Just pay attention to the white one on the left. Wait for it. Wait for it. A little longer. Kaboom! This is why you don't install LPG in your car. What's he going to do with that bottle? Small sip? Okay, now what? Hold on, hold on a minute. Replay the clip, slow it down. Where did that freaking water go? Was that a gimmick water bottle? Everyone meet Lars Anderson. He is redefining modern archery, and he can hit a moving target blindfolded. And that's not even the impressive part. What's impressive is that he can cut rope by shooting his arrow behind his back. Meanwhile, I'm struggling to balance this water bottle. They call it the impossible 200-yard shot, and it's done by smashing that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the shot is done with a belly gun. This guy hit it three times in a row, and he could barely see the darn target. This guy probably inspired the famous scene with the bear in The Revenant. But this dude is trying to have a beer and just talk about life. 
Too bad the man is in a bad mood. This is Furious Pete. He's a competitive eater. One of his specialties, chowing down Jaffa cakes like a slot machine. He even hit the jackpot at the end. If you think this weather reporter is Coco for Coco Pops, we won't blame you. He does look a little crazy. But we should explain that seeing lightning during a snowstorm is one of the rarest natural phenomena. Does that justify the reaction? Not one bit. Yes! Again! That's a three! You gotta be kidding me! While other people bring whistles and giant foam thumbs, this soccer fan made a big paper plane, launched it from his seat, filmed the crowd cheer as the plane descended on the court, hitting one of the players. We just hope this doesn't turn into a trend. Wait for it! Wait for it! There! See that hellfire at the back? That's the F-16's afterburner run. Apparently, this kid is the fastest chicken eater in the world. What's he gonna do with that chicken? When? What did you do to that chicken? Did he drop the damn thing? No, the pilot is not drunk. This is just a turboprop that was landing during windy weather. Well, if you can throw a paper aeroplane 226 feet, then there will be a camera crew and commentators around you too. Until then, this guy will remain the world record holder. Here's an interesting challenge. Get one of these marble pillows and put it on your living room counter. When your friends ask you, why is the pillow there? Just say, hey, I almost forgot to put it away. Would you mind tossing it to me? Apparently, Matt is going to eat a Big Mac in under a minute. Let's see how that goes. Damn! He's really working those fries. It's the first time we're seeing someone shoving fistfuls of fries in their mouth. We know the burger's going to be the easy part. And of course, the burp. <sighs> see this turboprop drifting to the right? Well, next time you're flying and you see your water bottle or table sliding in front of you, you know the pilot is having some trouble landing. Don't you just love nature? This is what it looks like when a severe hailstorm hits your local town. Not a single windshield was spared. Equality! Wait, why are those glasses of water changing colour? Huh? What did you say it was called? A briggs rauscher reaction? Was he a part-time magician? Speaking of magicians, this is probably the coolest smokeless fire pit we've ever seen. And you can even touch the flames. Don't worry, it's just water vapor illuminated by LEDs. Man, the videos we could make if we had these at home. Apparently, this Domino's pizza worker can make three pizzas in just 39 seconds. People say the CEO of Domino's is looking for a way to use his DNA and clone an army of workers. He will be paying them in pizza dough. This is not a scene in a movie. It's not CGI. It's an actual video, a passenger shot, when the engine of a United Flight 328 caught on fire. Yeah, that's what you want to see 30,000 feet in the air. The camera work is a little bad, but we wouldn't be able to do a better job, especially not if we're filming a 30-foot tsunami coming towards the shore. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Hey, we told you, didn't we? It's the fastest punch in the world. What did you expect? Ever wondered what it looks like to be on a ship when a giant wave approaches? Well, here's a perfect look from onboard a ship heading straight towards the wave. Don't play with your food. Doesn't apply to kids who can turn regular old spuds into an accordion. We wonder if you can play it. If you've ever wondered what a pilot's view looks like during landing, this captain of a Boeing 747-400 managed to capture a near-perfect shot of it. This is what we imagine posh people refer to when they say they like their onions finely chopped. 
We, on the other hand, hope that we can carve out onion rings without hacking off a thumb. Hey, each to their own. Okay, that's an easy shot. Anyone can make that. Ha! He missed! Hey, where's that ball headed? You mean to tell me he planned that all along? JetBlue found out what happens to the aircraft when your landing gear is stuck sideways and won't move. In short, it's a lot of smoke, fire and prayers. Lots and lots of prayers that the plane stops before it explodes. It's not an episode of Tom and Jerry, it's what actually happened in Belgium and the Netherlands back in 2013. And here's what the people have to deal with on a daily basis in Norway. Yeah, good luck crossing the damn street. Heck, you don't need a gym membership, just try walking home. Thanks for watching, guys.